Okay, what do you guys think is positive about Rainer Beach? I mean, I mean, it's a good school and all, man. I don't know, like, why people try to make it seem battering. What about the community? What's good about the Rainer Beach community? I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's not, I think it used to be bad, but I don't think it is anymore. I think Rainer Beach is a good school. What about you? What? What do you think is good about Rainer Beach? Rainer Beach, you know, it got a lot. You know, it got some good teachers. You know, that help you out. Uh, that help you through uh, all the problems you got, or at least most of them. But that's really, that's really all. What about the community? The community, it, it got way better than what it used to be. You know, like now, you know, there's like a, there's like a lot of more people in the community to help trying to help you out and stuff. Yeah. All right, that's what's up. My name is Darzel Touch and I work for Urban Impact CDF Freedom Schools at the Rainier Avenue Church site. I'm a level one servant leader intern and I love my community because it is just so rich in cultural diversity and the way the community really pulls together in times of need is something that I think shows our resiliency as a community despite the fact that we have gentrification that continually um, pushes us out of the out of the city but I feel like for us to make a change and for, for me in particular the way I think I can make a difference in, in my community is to stay in this community and to continue to fight against the powers that be that continue to push us out. Thank you. Sir, please introduce yourself. And shout out to my cousin Ray Ray, PT, Michael <laughs> Nan, 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 you know, Holly. Yes, I'll be down here the train, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'll be serious. Action. Hello, my name is Tyman Haskins. I am a first year SLI intern at Rainier Beach High School, and I work for Urban Impact CDF Freedom Schools. How can I invest into Rainier Beach community? First off, I want to say it's great. It's a great community, very diverse, but I think beyond that, it's a rich cultural, rich cultural history, as well as uh, it's been a place where, for me, it, it built my personal identity, remind me and, um, as an ethnic, ethnic uh, African-American man, but like my ethnic identity has grown in this area, so it's been great. So I think it, it, it's a great community that actually builds up and encourages people to be who they are. Um, how can I invest in this community? I think one thing is, my goal is not to take away, but just to be a part of it, to serve it, to actually um, be a mentor, to be able to invest in many um, African-American males and African men, um, particularly because I know the struggle, I know what's been going on, and for me to be able to invest, the true honor. So um, I don't want to take away from the community, I just want to add. So thank you. Thank you, sir. Sir, please introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Luke Farrell. I'm a first-year SLI at Rainer Beach Freedom School. And Rainier Beach is really key to the face of the change of Seattle. Like this is really the heart of Seattle and the community leaders and all the efforts that are here are really instrumental in keeping Seattle what it is. So I would say that's what I love about Rainier Beach. And how can we make it a better place? Just keeping the community voices forefront and keeping the community leaders at the front and really letting all the grassroots community Everything speak first. Thank you, sir. Please introduce yourself. My name is Kyrie Smith. I'm an SLI over at the Rainer Avenue Church site. I teach the level three scholars, so that's the middle schoolers. I think Rainer Beach is one of the neighborhoods that I want to say has what I like to call like a lot of potential for like doing what it wants to be doing like growth wise because there's there's space to hold like different sort of events. There's uh, different there's a different level of like diversity of the people here that you don't see in other, I want to say even other parts of the city, not even just like other cities in general. So I want to throw in that one of the challenges that I feel Raider Beach faces is that it's so secluded from other parts of the neighborhood. You know, I feel what something it needs is to have more programs that promote connectivity with different smart uh, parts of Seattle so they can reach out and get, I guess, support for all these like new things happening at Rainer Beach. So, you know, we got the Freedom Schools, they're doing an IB program, but other stuff that they need. I feel you can either find more within the community, but if you need help, I feel we should do more bridge programs to go outside of the community as well. 
thank you. Alright, you guys, can I get you guys for a chat? For a chat? You said for a chat? You talking yeah. about them chairs and chairs? I said them chairs and chairs! Chairs and chairs! And them chairs! Chairs and chairs! Chairs and chairs! Chairs and chairs! I said chairs and chairs! Chairs and chairs! Up, ears, and chairs! Chairs and chairs! And chairs! Are you tired yet? No. no! Are you ready to quit? No! Are you tired yet? No! Are you ready to quit? No! We rock this here, we rock this here, we rock to the rhythm of the funky jam, cause freedom schools is where I am. Uh oh, 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 no, oh, 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 Freedom, God love, God hope, God, God hope. hope. That's dope, that's dope, that's dope, that's dope. God freedom, God love, God hope, God, God hope. hope. I said, God hope, God hope, God hope, God hope. God freedom, God love, God hope, God hope. That's dope, that's dope, that's dope, that's dope. God peace, God love, God hope, God hope. All right, thank you guys. Yeah, no problem. Oh, I did not remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> she hit combo. Boom. <laughs> oh! oh.